Yeah, we're going to speak about like Boma and Pesach Sheni. Pesach Sheni. Ah, welcome to our thirty-fifth Amuna class, the Shechina Kedusha Lach. We're with the Heilige Rav Shalom Arush, and we're in our studio in New Shalim. We apologize for the slightly late start, just having a bit of technical, new technology difficulties. And thank God we have the pleasure of Rav Shalom Arush next to me in our studio in Shalim, and Rav Dayan Elgad on my right, Baruch Hashem, translating to English. The Rav very much appreciate everyone's time, including the Rav Bonim, especially today dedicating our Muna class to the success of Rav Moshe Weinberger Schlita, Rav of Eish Kodesh, who has given, thank God, thousands of classes, which you can check on YU Torah, um, with so many inspired students, friends, family, and we give blessings to our special guest in all things and everything. Amen. Amen. Now, we also have sponsored this class in the schools of Eliyahu ben Ruth Hinder Bela, Nagina Miriam Bat Zara, Imenu, Nachman ben Nagina Miriam, Fega Hana Bat Nagina Miriam, and Eliezer ben Reisel Deborah, Esther Rochel Bat Yechevet, to the full healing of Tovale Bas Rivka, and Gedalia's son, who does need more to feel us, Yerachmo Daniel ben Tova Basha. And we really pray for that for the family who sponsored the year should be blessed with everything good, good health, and please God with all the blessings. Amen. Amen. We're also davening and praying to be rid of this Corona challenge, which thank God in Eretz as well. We're getting closer, and all have a full shleima. We appreciate everyone's time, especially right now as I do the intro. I'll keep it quick, and we wish everyone a good week. And please share Amuna Global, everyone. Okay, first let's say thank you for all your feedback. And we want to remind again about the Rav Zamuna coaching, which we have on all our sites. We want to say some feedback now from our wonderful followers. We appreciate all the things you write in our live feed and send to us. Nasa Ben Yala wrote, Thank you, Hashem, for allowing me to see this life. He was talking about Rav Arash's classes. Someone else wrote, Rav Shalom Aleichem. It's an extraordinary message for us, Rav Arash. Baruch Hashem, someone else wrote, Thank you very much. We have to be praying all the time for our sons and daughters. I was in about a class from, on children and education from Rav Oresh, and it says a very appropriate for Lag Boma and Erev Shavuot, which we are holding out right now for praying for our children. Next, Elia Yusupuva. I think I'm impressed with my pronunciation. Is there a continuation after this video? They were talking about Rav Yonatan Galed. They want him back in English. Next, someone wrote in Hebrew, and I translated it. Thank you for your psalms. Thank you, Harav and you are bringing us radiating light to us all. And that was in our last class with Moshe Palstein. We love seeing our local inspiration, Rav Oresh. It was mamish fire. Shalom, Toda, Ahava, you are the best. Let's talk about Gedalia Fenster. We have a weekly class from him. Baruch Hashem, best mind by Gedalia Fenster. Toda, gratitude from Croatia. Bernard, Lily, Igor, Ahava. There we go. That's our feedback. And just one more of one, just for this special class. I will always watch the Amuna class someone wrote. And I'm very excited for Weinberger's Amuna class, Ravosh. Let's go. Okay. So we'll begin with the questions. And please, God, we'll be hearing Rav um, Weinberger through the system. And we appreciate your time and, and presence. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. With the permission of the Rav, we'll start with the first question, which is a question relevant for today. The question is, Rabbi, today and tomorrow is Pesach Sheni. What is so special about Pesach Sheni? What is the avoda that we have got to do on this day? Shualim kvod Rav, she halayla v'machar ze Pesach Sheni. Ma kol kach miyuchad Rav b'chag hazeh? Ma tzarich la'asod b'shvil Rav? L'afnot Rav et ha'shela l'Rav Weinberger? Rabbi Weinberger. Yeah, the call is muted, so just open up the call, please. Hello? If you can open, unmute your phone, please. Okay, are you able to hear me? Yes, perfectly. Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi. Aleichem, Shalom, Shalom HaRav, Shalom HaRav Arush. Shalom, <laughs> Shalom Rabbi. And we see you, Rav, as well, on the oh. screen, so everything's good. We're going to do it this way. <laughs> I'm giving you a bracha that I should be able to be together with you in Yerushalayim, not to be in New York. Amen. 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 The first question, Rabbi, was asked about today and tomorrow, Pesach Sheni. What is the special avoid, the special work 
for Pesach Sheni? What is so unique about this day in the eyes of Hasidus? You know that there are certain, there are certain days that throughout all of our history, we didn't know how great they were. We didn't realize how great they were. The Or is an Or Choser, the light that's coming from the days of Mashiach. The light of Pesach Sheini, the light of Rabbi Shimon Vayichai is getting stronger and stronger as we get closer to Mashiach. What both of those days mean on a very simple level is that Ein Yehudi Avud, a Jew is never ever lost. There's no such thing that a Jew is ever lost. Pesach Sheini means that even though it didn't make any sense at all because these were Jews who were not able to be part of Pesach, because they were Tmeim, Lunefesh Adam, they were impure, they were not able to be part of Pesach for whatever reason. They came, they cried to Moshe Rabbeinu, and Karav Hashem, Uchol Hashem, Hashem is close to all those who seek him and call out to him in truth. And they came and they begged Moshe Rabbeinu, how could it be, how could, we, how could it be that we're not able to serve Hashem? We also left Mitzrayim. We also want to be close to Hashem. Something happened in our life. Something went wrong. We made mistakes, whatever it is. But it can't be that we're not the Torah B'nai Yisrael. We're, we're also Jews. And Moshe Rabbeinu brought that to Hashem. And they were able to draw down this Yontiv of Pesach Sheini. A Yontiv that wasn't written in Shemaim. It wasn't written on earth. And these sincere Jews who said, we're not going to give up. We're going to continue to do whatever we can to be the Torah B'nai Yisrael, to be together with our people. And in that schus, Hashem revealed the light of Pesach Cheney, which means that there's always a second chance. And Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, that's the or of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, because the light of Rabbi Shimon is that there's no such thing to measure a Jew by what you see on the outside. And even though on the outside this person might appear to be somebody who is Tamei Lenefesh Adam, and he has no hope, and everybody was ready with Yaish, everybody gave up hope, and he gave up hope in himself. But he cries out to Hashem, and he says, Lo meni gara, there will be Shimon by Yochayez Lakol. Rabbi Shimon, that's why thousands and thousands of Jews are running to be in Meiron, they want to be with Rabbi Shimon. Because Rabbi Shimon stored to the deepest depths of a Jew. The whole meaning of Rabbi Shimon is the pnimi, is the urha pnimi of a Jew. And the, and the, and I'll tell you something else, that this day of Pesach Sheini is traditionally, this is the yard site of Rabbi Meir Balanes. And Rabbi Meir Balanes said, Ben kahu ben kach atem kruyim bonim. Bonim atem Hashem, we're Hashem's children. Even if we make mistakes, we do things that are wrong. Ben kahu ben kach, the Gemara says in Kedush and Lamad Vav, and the Chubas HaRash Vapas is like Rabbi Meir, that we are Hashem's children no matter what, even though we misbehave, even though we might, even Khalila do the worst of errors, we're Hashem's children. We're always Hashem's children. And that exactly, that's exactly the message of Lag Baomer of Rabbi Shum Bayechai, that Hashem sees through beyond all of the external, all of the external tumor, all of the things that seem to be wrong in our lives, Hashem sees to the depths of who we are. That's the Arapnimi of a Jew. And therefore, bonim atem l'ashem okech, Hashem's children. And when a Jew knows that, when a Jew believes that, then his whole life is completely transformed. Thank you, Rav. Thank you, Rav. Gavoldik. Gavoldik. We could hear from Rav Boris. Rav Boris. In response? Yes, I'm just going yes, to ask you to translate. Translate. השאלה <laughs> אבל למה אני אגרע? אתה כל יכול, זה כשבו. כמו שעשית להם פסח, עשית להם חג מיוחד, מצווה מיוחדת, בשביל להשלים להם. גם, גם, תעשה לנו הכל, תשלים לנו, שנוכל לזכות בעזרת השם, להשלים את כל מה שעשינו. נכון, בגלל שהיינו רחוקים, היינו בדרך, אנחנו אשמים. 
אבל למה נרגע? Our work on Pesach Sheini is to cry out to Hashem and to say to him, Lama Nigora, why should, we be le- why should we be left out? True, we were impure, true, we were far away. But Hashem, you are all powerful, you can do everything. Lama Nigora, why should we be left out? Hashem, just like you did and gave Am Yisrael then Pesach Sheini, even though they were not worthy, even though they shouldn't have really got it, Please, Hashem, do the same thing for us. We want you also to guide us in the right path, in the right way. Lama Nigora. We do not want to be left out. We're also close now to Lag Baomer. And we'd like to ask Rabbi Weinberger Schlitha, please, to help us prepare Am Yisrael for this Heile Geheile Gedei of Lag Baomer. To, to help prepare Gershut HaRav, to help prepare for Lag Bomer. Carry on, Rav, please. Yeah, do you, are you able to hear? Yes, we're just calling the Rav, so we have an extra. There we go. Everything's very good. Thank you, Rav. Carry on, Thank please. Thank you, Rav. Carry on, please. Okay. Lag Bomer is Gal, Einai, Abita Niflos, Natara Sarcha Hasham. Open my eyes that I should be able to see the wonders of your Torah. The wonders of your Torah. On the day of Lag Ba'omer, in this time of the year of Lag Ba'omer, we're asking Hashem in the schus of Rabbi Shimon, who was able to see to the deepest depths, not only of the Torah, but who was sent to the world to wake us up. Rabbeinu says in the, it's brought down in the Hagdama to Lukute Maran. We know that Kiloso Shaka, Kiloisi Shokach, Mi Pizarro, the letters Yochai. And we're now at the end of Golos, the last few minutes of Golos. And there are many, many Jews who are falling asleep. And there are many Jews who are forgetting. And on that day when the Chachamim were saying, that, that they no longer saw how it's possible that the Jewish people should remember. I see the Torah she tishtakach mi Yisrael. Kam Rabbi Shim. Rabbi Shim got up and said, Ki lo si shakach mi pizaro. That the Torah will never ever be forgotten. Therefore we prepare for Lag Ba'omer Aleph. We try to connect as deeply as we can to Pnimi Yisatara. We try to strengthen our Amunah that I will never forget Hashem in my entire life. I will never, ever forget who I am and the purpose of my existence. I daven to Hashem, kilosi shakach mi pizarro, that those of us who are zochet to have children and grandchildren, that our children, that our grandchildren should be able to remember who they are, that all those of the Jews in the world who are asleep, it's a tremendous time to remember to ask Hashem in the schus to Rabbi Shimon, who was ir v'kadish min kanachis, that he was a Jew that was awake, and he was sent by Hashem to wake us up, to remember Hashem, ki lo zishakach mi pizarro, that in the schus to Rabbi Shimon, we're begging you, Hashem, to wake up all of our brothers and sisters here in Eretz Yisrael, wherever a Jew is, because we believe that the same way that, that the Torah, like Rabbi Shimon says, Oy vavoy, you would just look at the surface of the Torah. Oy vavoy, you would just think that they're stories. Every single Jew, oy vavoy, if you look at a Jew and just think that that's all the person is, is the person that you see with your eyes. Every Jew has within him a Zohar. Every Jew is shining with the light of Hashem. And we're asking Hashem in the schus of Rabbi Shimon, open our eyes. Gal einai, gal is lag, la megim, lag boma, gal einai. Open my eyes to see the deepest, deepest truths of your Torah. Open my eyes to see how wonderful my children are. Open up my eyes to see how wonderful each and every Jew is. Because to the extent that you and I remember that and we're able to see that, then Rabbeinu taught us in Reish Bebeis Azamra, that if my eyes are able to see the good in other Jews, to see the secret good in each and every Jew, that that Jew will be awakened to see the good within himself. And he'll realize that not only does the Torah contain secrets, but he himself and she herself contains the deepest secrets of Hashem's love. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Shkech Hizek from his words, Rav. Thank you so much. We'd like to uh, go to another question from one of our followers, Bez Hashem, and hopefully we'll keep going strong together. Well, the honest truth is most of the questions here are actually questions about Lagba Omer and about 
also about Rabbi Meir Balanes, but there is here a question which is speaking about Bitochen. And the question is, what is Bitochen? How do I strengthen Bitochen in my life? Sholim po kvod arav, ma ze Bitochen? Ech ani mechazek et midat ha-Bitochen betoch ha-chaim sheli? Bitochen ze nka emunah shlema. Bitochen, that means having full and complete faith. Emunah shlema, shema shiyeti ze yachitov. Full and complete faith, full and complete emuna, that everything that happens to me is the best thing that could happen. Thank you, Bitochen. <laughs> that is Bitochen. Rabbi Weinberger, Rav Arish is really yearning and wanting to hear what you have to say about Bitochen. He is really enjoying your answers. <laughs> well, someone did ask, <laughs> is the Rav going to write a garden of Betochen? <laughs> it was there, you didn't know. What Rabbi Weinberger What Rabbi Weinberger spoke about Lag Baomer. Rabbi Nachman of Breslau brings in his book, Likutei Moharan, that why did the students of Rabbi Akiva pass away in, the day, in these days as Fer Saomer? Because there was no love between them. And Rabbi Shimon Baruchai said that we, our whole connection is through love. Everything that we have got to do is through love. That's why Rabbi Shimon Baruchai has the greatest hilula in the world where people come and celebrate the day that he passed away. Because his virtue was love. He loved the whole world. And he said that he can exempt the whole world from judgment. Every single time a person goes to the holy resting place of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, he can work and he can pull upon himself true salvations and miracles, especially on Lag Ba'omer, the day Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai passed away. In the whole world, people light bonfires for the holy soul of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And every single person in his own house, it's good that he should light a candle, preferably from olive oil. And when a person lights a bonfire or he lights in his house an olive oil candle, he should say, may the light of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai enlighten us, enlighten our hearts, the whole worldwide. We are actually asking for the light of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai to lighten up our souls and the souls of all of Amisrol, the light of what? The light of love, that there shall be love between all of Amisrol. Because this holy group of Rabbi Akiva's students, who were only five students, <laughs> They continued an infinite and an incredibly immense light to the whole world. Why? Because there was love between them. 
Why is that? Because at the event of getting the Torah at Mount Sinai, the Torah says that Am Yisrael were united, one man with one heart. You cannot receive the Torah unless you have this virtue of love where you're connected to the souls of all of Am Yisrael. Because every single Jew has a letter in the Holy Torah. The Torah, when it's missing even one letter, the Torah is not valid anymore. It's possible. You can't read it. And Rabbi Nachman of Breslov says, the verse says, Torah Hashem Tmimah. Hashem's Torah is whole Meshivat Nafesh. It restores the soul. When does the Torah restore the soul? When it is whole. Certainly there are many things that we need to ask Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, but the main thing to ask him is that the light, his light, the light of love, the light of unity among of all of of all, all of our Israel will shine in all of our hearts because that is what we need now more than anything else, love and unity. <laughs> To mend the main reason that we are still in Golos, which is Sinas Chinam, hating our fellow Jew for no reason, that can only be done through the light of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the light of love. By loving all of Am Yisrael, we'll be able to mend Sinas Chinam and bring the true Gula, the true redemption, soonly. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Wow. Awesome. I want to say just a quick few words. If the Rabbonim uh, must give that the Baruch Hashem, Rav Moshe Weinberger has been teaching Torah since I remember being in Yushalayim uh, in the 90s. I came late 90s and I already had cassette tapes from Weinberger. And since then, thousands and thousands of Shurim, just like the Rav here has given thousands of Shurim of, in Amuna and put out Svarim. And we've enjoyed also Rav Weinberger's Kehillah Svarim as well, Eish Kodesh, a very special Kehillah, which I had the pleasure to visit with Nissen Black and also visit with Rav Oresh. And it's a tremendous uh, Kiddush Hashem what Rav Weinberger has created in New York together with his Kehillah and his Choshev and Mishpocha. And we get tremendous Chizak here in Yushalayim, especially when the Rav comes in person. And we would like to extend an invitation when he does come to actually come to the studio so we can bring together with music. Please God, we'll be out of the sphere in terms of the Avela side. And uh, Mr. Shem, we can have the simcha of having the Rav here. Amen. 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 Vivaldi. To, to, add, to add to what the Rav was saying, what Rav was saying, that when Rabbi Shimon said, Adan B'chavivut Italia, it was a tremendous chiddush because if you think about it, and here's something practical, Kevin, that I want to recommend, because we're talking about what can we do to prepare? What can we do? It's, it's nice to have a hilula and a madura and to sing a few nagunim, but what can we do lomaisa? Just to follow up what the Rav was saying a minute ago, when Rabbi Shimon revealed on Amr Chavivus Natalia Milsa that everything depends on Chavivus, on Ahava, on love, this is a musag, the whole idea of a chevraya, of a chevraya. You and I right now, we're part of a certain chevraya. We're trying to join together different groups in different places in the world who care about Hasidas, who want to find ways to go closer and closer to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And Rabbi Shimon brought down into the world this idea, this concept of a chevraya. We don't find anywhere before Rabbi Shimon, it was always Talmidim, Rabbonim, but the whole Metzius of a Chavraya, of Chaveirim, of Chaveirim who share a common goal, a common objective of Deveikus Bashem. I have people from all over the world in different places. They don't have necessarily the luxury of 
being able to go to this shir in Yerushalayim or that shir in New York. But even the Jews who are in New York and in Yerushalayim, they feel separated, they feel apart. We have to form more chavrayas. Anan b'chavivus et talia, what the Rav is saying is about ahava, that those Jews who feel this bond, this love for each other, for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, we have to form more groups to learn more and more chasidus, l'chshayafutza, minus ha'chutza, from all the tzaddikim, to learn more and more Torah, to learn more and more pnimiya satara. Stuff, because stuff, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said that the key to uncovering within ourselves and within the world these wellsprings of Ahava is through learning Panimiya Satara. So he taught that it's not enough that we learn by ourselves in this base measure, or that base measure, or this shul, or that shul. We have to try hard to form Chavrayas. You see that the, you see that the Ariya Kodesh had his Chavrayas, and the Baal Tov Kodesh, the Mezut Shemagid, they had their Chavrayas. Jews such as ourselves, we must form more and more chavrayas to learn the Svarma Kedoshim and to try to sing the Gunam of Kedusha and to be connected one with each other. That's the practical thing that we have to work on and I believe would give Rabbi Shimon Bar Chai tremendous nachet. And that bitochen, that feeling of bitochen becomes increased and multiplied to the extent that Jews find each other and give chizik to each other. There's a famous, Maes, I'll tell you very quickly, there's a famous Maise of a Jew who would save every penny through the year to be able to be together with the Chayzer from Lublin, to travel to Lublin, to be with the Chayzer from Lublin for, for Elul and Rosh Hashanah. And he always looked forward when he would come to Lublin, the Chayzer from Lublin would give him a tremendous, tremendous hug and was so happy to see him. But this year, one year he came and he saved every penny and he slept for weeks until he finally got to Lublin. And when he got there, he didn't understand. The Rebbe said to him, Moshe, I'm sorry, I don't want you here. You have to go home. And he didn't know why. He said, Rebbe, why? He said, you have to go home. So he turned back. He was very upset and depressed. And he turned back and he stopped off at the bar where all the Hasidim were sitting on their way into Lublin. And his name was actually Zundel. And, and they said, Zundel, what's the matter with you? What's going on? Where are you going? He said, I'm leaving. The Rebbe doesn't want me. He said, it can't be the Rebbe doesn't want you. What do you mean the Rebbe doesn't want you? They drank a Lechaim, and they picked him up on their shoulders, and they started to sing the Gunim, and they marched back to Lublin, and when they came into the Chayzer, the Chayzer said, Zundel, Zundel, you're back. And he gave him a big hug, and he said, I'm so glad that you came. And then Zundel said, but Rebbe, you told me to leave. You didn't want me. And the Chayzer from Lublin said to him, you should know that when you walked in, I saw that the Malach HaMavis was together with you. And I didn't want you to be here, Chas Roshon, to leave the world away from your family, and therefore I had to rush you to go back to your family. But you know what happened? You met the Chassidim. You came together with the Chavrayah. Anan the Chavivus Atalia. You came and you met your Chavrayim. And the Chavrayim sang in Nigan, and they drank Lachayim, and they put you on their shoulders. And when you walked in together with the Chassidim, I saw that the Gzeira was gone, finished. The Malachim left. And the Chayzer said, because what good friends could be able to are able to be toil, what Chaveyim can do for each other through that ahab, through that love, the Tzadikim can't be poor. So therefore, the day of Lagbom, this time of the year, we have to strengthen each other to become Chaveyim and to create more and more Chaburis that learn Chasidis and that help each other and do for each other and live for each other. And that strengthens the bitach, and that strengthens our amuna when we're together with each other. And the source of that amuna and the source of that bitach, we should be zarechet to be together in Meiron and to be together in Yishalayim the Kar of Mammon. Amen. Amen. Wow, chizuk. So, Rabbanim, we we would like to have a little sikkum because we Baruch Hashem, time we started a little bit later than we hoped, and we want to round off this year with. A, a flam fire, a lot of energy to get everyone excited for Lag Baomer, for Shavuos, special times of unity and Achdus. And uh, we would like to hear a little bit now, how do we take it into our daily life to bring the MS and the the, the Amuna that Rav, Rav Weinberger and Rav, Rav Orish represent in this world? How do we bring it down, the light, into our life? That's <laughs> the <laughs> יש אמונה זה תפילה. אמונה, faith is prayer. 
כשהקדוש ברוך הוא ציווה עלינו להתפלל, When Hashem commanded us to pray, הוא לא נתן לנו לא סידור, He didn't give us a sitter, לא ספר תהילים, He didn't give us the book of Tehillim, לא שום, לא שום ספר תפילות. He didn't give us any book of prayers whatsoever. התפילה שציווה עלינו זה לדבר איתו בשפה שלנו, בזמן שלנו, כמה שרוצים. The prayer that Hashem commanded us is to speak to Him in our own language whenever and wherever we want. לכן, תפילה זה, תפילה, אמונה זה תפילה, ותפילה זה אמונה, הכוונה על התפילה האישית הזאת. That's why אמונה that is prayer and prayer that is אמונה, that means this special personal prayer that we pray to Hashem. עד שאדם לא, לא עושה תפילות כאלה אישיות בלי שום ספר, until a person is able to pray to Hashem in such personal prayers without any book, אז האמונה שלו חלשה ביותר. Until he reaches that level, his אמונה is at a very, very low level. כל פעם אני זוכר להתקרב אנשים שאפילו שהיו, שהם מקראים בעיני העולם תלמידי חכמים. Every time I have the merit to bring people who are called in the eyes of the world תלמידי חכמים, Torah scholars, I merit to bring them closer to Hashem. והם מודים על האמת. שעד שלא התקרבו לעבודה של ההתבודדות, לא היה להם שום אמונה. And they admit the truth that until they came closer to this work of Isbordus, they had no אמונה whatsoever. לכן, איך זוכים להמשיך את כל האורות, אז יש לנו אבנת אבי ברסלב, שהוא תלמיד טוב, צריכים כולנו להיות תלמידים טובים כמוהו. So how do we merit to gain all these lights we've been speaking about them? Rabbi Nachman of Breslev had an incredible student, Rabbi Natan, who we all should achieve to be like him. Natan of Breslev said that he was listening to the night of the Lord of the Lord of Breslev. Rabbi Natan of Breslev said that people used to hear shiurim at night from the hill of Rabbi Nachman. And after the shiur, everyone went to bed. But he went all night long and screamed and shouted to Hashem that he should merit to live every single word, every single idea that he heard from the Hela Gerebi. And that's why he merited to be the student. עבר ועובר כל הדעת והאור של רבנו. That through him all the knowledge and wisdom and light of רבי נחמן, through him all that knowledge passed and still passes through. אפילו שהוא היה צעיר שבתלמידים. Even though he was the youngest student of them all. כי הוא... אז איך ממשיכים את האור? פשוט אדם... So how do we continue this light into our daily lives? I tell people simply, pray to Hashem and ask Him, Hashem, give me emunah, give me faith. So the way to continue all these lights, everything that we've learned about and spoken about into our daily lives, is to pray for everything that you hear and learn. Smile. Wow. Yes, so that's, we have, thank God, all our links below. You can see amunalive.com, breslov.com. Uh, code.il or breslov.com you can get the Garden of Amuna series books and also we'd love to invite our uh, Weinberger's books to our website we're welcome to organize that we can definitely organize selling the Swarm of Rav Weinberger also together to Machazik Suzam we have on our website all different Swarm Boch Hashem and specifically we ask you all to keep bringing Amuna live.com global and next week we have the pleasure of having a student of the Rav Charlie Harari join us live please God It will be a big honor to host Charlie. We have hosted him many times in New York together with another student, Rabbi Sholem Yonah Weiss, uh, with Chazak, and Baruch Hashem, very good. And we'd love to host the Rabbi again, Rabbi, or with all of them together. Can, but can I, Rabbi, 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 Rabbi yeah. Weinberger Schlitter, can I please ask something as a personal yes, request? Yes, please do. We would love to hear words of summary from the Rabbi. The Rabbi speaks so beautifully. It is a pleasure to hear him. Yeah, please. 
that's what we were going to get to. Because <laughs> in the end, all these students have learned from the Rav. So we want to hear again from Rav Weinberger and it's a Sikkim with the Rav, Bo Hashem. I, I'll just end with, I'll end with a story. I'll end with a story because we know that at the end of Rabbi Nachman's life, at the end of Rabbi Nachman's life, we know that he told stories. He told stories. So I'm going to end with my favorite story. And I'll, I'll leave this as a, 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 a tefillah, a sikum of what we're talking about, my favorite story that my Talmidim have heard from me, and I'll share it with you, that there was a great tzaddik, the Talmud Magid, and the Talmud Magid's biggest avoider was Hanukkah candles. And the and the whole island, there were thousands of Jews that came to be the first night of Hanukkah with the Talmud Magid. And it came time for him to make the brach on the first nair. And everybody was waiting, and the Rebbe was looking back and forth. He didn't, and, and he wasn't going to light the candle. He didn't make the brach because nobody knew what was wrong. So finally, finally, the Rebbe was looking around, and the Rebbe called out, and he said, "We is Shaya the Hoicha. We is Shaya the tall one. We is Shaya the tall one. Hagavoa. And who is the Shaya? He's a very sweet Jew, very tall." A person that didn't learn any Torah, he didn't know anything because his parents left to the world when he was little, and he was a hard-working person, a butcher, but he was a big Yirei Shemayim and a big Davener. And the Rebbe said, Shaya, I know you're here, I'm begging you, I have to ask you something. And Shaya was afraid, but his friend pushed him, he went down from the bleachers, and he went down to the Rebbe, and the Rebbe was sitting there next to the beautiful menorah, and the Rebbe, and the Rebbe said, Shaya, I have to ask you a question. And Shai said, Rebbe, I barely know how to read Aleph Beis. The Rebbe said, the Rebbe said, no, Shai, you're the only one that can ask this, answer this question. And Shai said, what is a Rebbe? So you remember I told you the Rebbe, that, that Shai was very tall, very tall. So the Rebbe said, Shai, I want to ask you a question. Do you love your wife? Now, everybody was very shocked. It seems to be inappropriate for the Rebbe to ask such a question. Do you love your wife? And Shai just stood there, he was shocked. And, and the Rebbe said, Shai, do you love your wife? And he said, yes, Rabbi, I love my wife. So the Rebbe said, so probably you want to tell her sometimes how much you love her or a secret, how much you care for her. And he said, yes. So how do you do that? So people were giggling because just like Shia was so tall and his wife was so small. So Shia said, Rebbe, when I want to tell my wife a secret, I bend down and I tell her a secret. So the Rebbe was also little. So the Rebbe says, show everybody how you do that, Shia. So Shaya bent down to the Rebbe. And the Rebbe said, Shaya, that's terrific, that the Gavaldic, but you left out the most important thing. And Shaya was thinking, and he said, oh, my wife gets on her tippy toes. I bend down, and my wife gets on her tippy toes. And the Rebbe said, Shaya, thus is thus. That's it. And he made the brochus, and he lit the candle, and there was such singing and dancing. So afterwards, the Chassidim came to the Rebbe, and he asked him what happened with Shaya, and what was that with Shaya and his wife? And the Rebbe said, you don't know what, you don't understand. I was about to light the candle and I was wondering, why would Hashem care about me, David from Tolna, about my little candle? What difference does it make to Hashem? Hashem has the whole universe. Hashem is so great. What does he care about me and my little mitzvah? And I began to think, why does he care if I put on film? Why would Hashem care if, if, if I learn, if I dive? Why does Hashem care? Who am I? I'm nobody. I'm nothing. He has the whole universe. And then I saw Shaya. And Shaya is so tall. Hashem is so tall. And Shaya's wife is so small, and we feel so small. But Shaya showed us that when you love someone, you bend all the way down. So Hashem said, I have the Eschem, he loves us. And he bends down from the highest, highest world, from the highest world. Hashem bends down, and he loves us, and he cares about each and every one of us. But the one thing that he's asking from each Jew is stand on your tippy toes. Try to be a little bit better today than you were yesterday. Try to have a little bit more Amunah, a little bit more Hezbordus, a little bit more Ben Al-Machadeo. Stand on your tippy toes. If anything we take out, if we take anything out from Pesach Sheni to try again, to start again, if we take anything out from Ebishim Bayichai is to make today a little bit better than than yesterday. It doesn't have to be like Nodav and Avil came in with the Ketaris, Lifnai Lifnim. It doesn't have to be such a thing. Bezos Yovo Aaron Elat Kodesh. Zos means Malchus Hashem. Zos means Amuna. It means I try my best believing 
that if I stand on my tippy toes, because Hashem loves me and I'm his only child, that Hashem bends down from the highest world to hear every word of tefillah, every single hishtadlut that I make in my life, Hashem pays attention, Hashem cares. And in that schus, all of us should be zochet to see the lighting of the Madura in Meron, the candles of the Beis HaMittis, Arich HaSnai Lev Ben David, Yishichenu Udugla Shavah Amittis, from Amen, 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 Amen. Thank you, Rabbanim, thank you, Arav. Rav Orish, Rav Weinberger, we're going to end off the class. Next week we have Charlie Harari and Yosef Daniel. Charlie will not be playing music, but Yosef Daniel will in person, thank God. And Charlie may be in person, but it seems like we'll be hopefully doing the online Zoom thing again. Thank you, Rav, Rav Weinberger. Thank you, Surly. Thank, thank, you. thank you, all the family there. Amazing people. We love the Kehila Seish Kodesh, and we can't wait to dance again by the Kotel. And we, I just want to say, I, might, I was just by the t David Tolner's Einikler's Tish this last week. It's ah, Netzer Shabanetza yeah. for the Yisod, uh, so the Yacht site, Buch Hashem. It was beautiful. So it's very appropriate beautiful. to hear that during the climax of Netzach, which is what it is in America, to hear a vault from David Tolner. Thank you very much. Okay, Shri Zolchem Netz Hashem. Amuna, Amuna. Thank you. Thank you very much. Amen.